Let's take a building. It could be a house, skyscraper, hospital, or an office building. We want it to be structurally sound, of course, but it's also important for it to be energy efficient and comfortable for its inhabitants. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. We used to just build it and see what happened and adjust it later, but that could get rather costly. Then we tried to calculate it by hand, which just got overwhelming. Today we can save resources and time by using a little something called energy modeling. Energy modeling allows you to take that building design and all the conditions you might run into out there, like weather, people, utility rates, and simulate all these things right in here. Energy modeling allows you to make the hard choices much more easily. After running all the right energy related tests, modeling can help you choose between different designs, materials, or equipment. You can adjust variables as you go to see the results. Say you wanted to change the lighting, and it turns out you've made it less efficient and now it generates more heat. This means you'll need more ventilation and the energy model will let you know to make adjustments. With energy modeling you can immediately see the consequences of changing variables so you end up with a building that is both efficient and comfortable. You can include anything relevant in your model. Lighting? Yep. Weather? Sure. Electrical devices? No problem. Humans and their tendency to give off heat and breathe? Absolutely. You can even do a life cycle analysis to determine energy usage and to estimate utility bills over time. Now that you know what energy modeling can do, it's time to put it to work.